Except as noted, all text, graphics, sounds, and video content are the intellectual property of Florida Institute of Technology. Anybody can practice boogaboo therapy because it's not one of the regulated practices. <laughs> so they said, well, it's got to be. These people are hurting. These people are coming to psychologists. They're coming to clinical social workers, mental health counselors, marriage and family therapists. And they're coming because they're hurting. Their lives are a mess. And we are trained. We have gone through school for years, and we get degrees, and we get supervised experience, and we have taken licensing exams, and, and we've got the, the, uh, the, the, the licensing boards regulating us. So we are very careful not to damage these people's uh, ego, and, and, and we, hurt, we help them. And these people have not been trained. They are people, some of them have been patients. They, they've had no training in, in any type of therapeutic modality, let alone boogaboo therapy. Well, but it's not one of the regulated practices. So, well, what do we do to make it one of the practices? We need to put the practice in the act, and, and, and we should be the only ones practicing boogaboo therapy. Nobody else should practice boogaboo therapy other than us licensed mental health professionals. Well, the, 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 the official said, well, before we proceed, there's one question you need to answer. And depending on the answer to this question depends on whether or not we take the next step in terms of seeing what you do uh, to try to get this into a practice act. All right, what's the question? Well, maybe you in the audience can guess the question. You can think about it for a little bit. Okay, well, you could even stop the video while you think about it. Okay, well, now that's enough time. If you wanted more time, you should have stopped the video and waited. But here's your answer. The question was, has anybody ever been harmed by someone who, was, who practiced boogaboo therapy and performed boogaboo therapy on them? Has anybody ever been harmed? Okay. They looked at each other. They all shook their heads. They said, no, I don't think so. I don't know. We all know that we do it and nobody has ever seemed to be harmed. They keep back and they all seem to be happy. And they came back for booster sessions all the time. And I don't think that we've harmed them. But we don't know about those other people that are doing boogaboo therapy, if they've harmed them. Well, the, the official said, well, look very carefully at the definition of harm. And then you can try to investigate if any of those people have harmed anybody. So they left. They weren't very happy, but they went and, and started an investigation. They hired some private investigators. They did all they could to try to find if anybody had been harmed. And they never found, they looked for a few weeks, they didn't find a single case in which there was any, any evidence of harm to an individual by somebody who was doing boogaboo therapy on them. So they, went, they set up another appointment. They went back and said, uh, well, we couldn't find any evidence of harm. So what, what can we do here now to add it to the Practice Act? And the official said, mm, there's nothing that you could do now. Uh, the first uh, and foremost reason to regulate a profession or a practice is uh, to protect the public, to protect the consumer. If no uh, first do no harm is the Hippocratic is the first uh, the Hippocratic oath and it's the first part of, of the oath of one of the oldest professions medicine first do no harm and that's incorporated into all the language in terms of professions and the regulation that and the only reason the state has to really expend the the resources and the money to regulate a profession is if somebody has been harmed. If nobody has been harmed, we have no business regulating the, the practice. 
Furthermore, it's expensive, so, so we can't justify spending the money, even if we thought it might be a worthwhile thing to do. Well, they were not very happy with the answer, but they left, and there was nothing they could do. It turns out anybody could practice boogaboo therapy without a license. And they could do nothing about it.